Today, I will introduce my recent work, Tracking 3D Orientation of Battery Internet of Things. Orientation is an essential input to many applications, such as machine, mobile gaming, virtual reality, and uh, indoor navigation. However, those uh, applications are currently running on the battery-powered device and they are using the active motion sensor to find the orientations of the device, such as driver scope and compass. There are some new applications in the Internet of Things that require passive orientation sensing. For example, in the supply chain, our passive orientation sensing can find out the two angles of the sense orientation sensitive cargo. And in the smart home environment, it can find out the human activity and the furniture movement. And in the production line, it can assist the robotic arm to pick up an object using a proper posture. And the active orientation sensing cannot be applied in those scenarios because this application will require an ad hoc setup and least maintenance of the battery and low cost for massive deployment. And to do passive orientation sensing, the existing approach are predominant by the image-based approach. For example, using a camera and computer vision technique, you can find the orientation of an object with some spatial label. However, this technique is sensitive to the background variations and ambient light conditions, and it only works in the light outside condition. And the use of camera will raise some privacy issues as well. So to address the above limitations, we propose Tagiro, which is an RFID-based orientation tracking system that uses the face information. The basic idea is to attach multiple tags to the object and use the RFID reader to find out the orientation of the object that the tag array is attached to. To understand how it works, let's first look at the standard phase distance model in the RFID. In RFID, the phase of the signals change linearly over the tag to reader distance. And when we have a tag array, the Tegiro find out the orientation through the phase difference of arrivals, or called PDOA, among the tags. For example, the tag 1 and tag 2 in the figure. When the RFID reader has equal distance to them, the phase difference arrival between tag 1 and tag 2 will be 0. If we rotate the tag array counterclockwise, the PDOA will be positive. Otherwise, if we rotate it clockwise, it will be negative. So the Tegiro is such a checking system that generalizes the above basic idea and its checking algorithm will take the array layout and the phase output from the RFI readers as input. And then it discretizes all possible value of orientations into like three degrees. And then compute the theoretical PDOA for each of the orientations. And then generate an intensity map that gauge the similarity between the measure and the theoretical PDOA. And the right figure shows an example of the intensity map and the peak of the map indicates the estimate orientation. So the above checking idea is straightforward, but it has three underlying conditions. The first one is that it assumes the tag backscatters the signals like a tropic point source. The second is that it assumes the phase changes linearly over the tag to reader distance. And the third one, we are assuming the array layout is known. But in practice, all the above three conditions may not be satisfied, and we will verify them through the following two experiments. And in the first experiment, we rotate a single tag along three orthogonal axes in front of one RFID reader. And we measure the face and RSS simultaneously. And the left figure shows the measure face value no, measure RSS value over rotation. Ideally, the RSS should be a constant if the tag backscatter the signals lie a sphere ball. However, 
there's two notch there. And this experiment indicates the tag actually has some blind directions and its backscatter pattern more looks like a donut. And the right figure shows the measure phase over rotation. And according to the standard phase distance models, the phase should not change if the tag just rotate but does not move. But we found the phase varies significantly, and that's caused by the linear polarity of the tag antenna. And the above is results actually only violate the first and the second conditions we should have. And in the second experiment, we form a simple tag array using two tags and rotate it along a circle and measured their PDOA. And the blue curves plot the measure PDOA. And as for comparisons, I also plot the theoretical PDOA compute using the standard phase distance model. So from the figure, we can see the measure PDOA has been deviated from the theoretical ones. And uh, we found out this only happened if we put the two tags close to each other. And it turned out the electromagnetic fields has some coupling effect. And this will distort the phase reading. So to summarize, the above two experiments expose three problems, but we have the corresponding solutions. The first problem is caused by the antenna polarity. And to address this issue, we propose the polarity alignments so the basic idea is that when we're building the tag array, we ensure the polarity of the tag pointing to the same direction. As a result, the phase change caused by the polarity change will be the same among all the tag. And when computing the PDOA, they will be canceled with each other. The second problem is caused by the electromagnetic coupling between the tags. And we will propose an array layout sensing algorithm to address that, and which will be de detailed in the next slide. And the third problem is the blind direction, which will limit the range of orientation that the girl can check. And we have the multi-array checking scheme. So let's first look at the coupling issue. To address the coupling, our key observation is that the curve of the PDOA under the coupling it still maintains the same shape, but just have different scaling. And from the theoretical analysis, we found out the scaling of the PDOA is determined by the tag-to-tag -tag distance. So in order to address the coupling, we propose the concept of effective distance. The key idea is to take the coupling effect into account and then compensate the PDOA distortions. And the right figure shows the residual PDOA difference between the measure PDOA and the theoretical PDOA using different distance. When you use the effective distance, we found the residual PDOA error can be reduced to almost noise floor, which is shown in the blue curve. So the key question is how to find out the effective distance and we, we use the array layout sensing algorithm. And the array layout sensing algorithm is a one-time initialization before putting the system into use. And we will try to compensate the distortion caused by the coupling effect. And it was as follows. At first, we will let the user randomly rotate the tag arrays or randomly rotate the reader around the tag arrays. And then we'll keep track of the PDOA and map its scaling to an effective distance. And then we repeat the above two steps for each pair of tags, and then construct the matrix of effective distance. And then finally, we can compute the effective layout from the effective distance from the using a multi-dimension scaling algorithm. Remember, we still have one problem that's caused by the blind directions. That's because the text has a donut shape backscattered pattern. As a result, when we only have one array and one reader, we can only check the rotation along two axes. In order to enable 3D orientation tracking, we, pu we propose a dual array and dual antenna setup. 
And the basic idea is to deploy another pair of array uh, readers in an orthogonal direction uh, to the first pair. And in order to find out which array is out of the blind direction, and we design a combo validator, it will compare the relative RSS between the two arrays and find out which is out of the blind direction. And also, we have an orientation synthesis module. Its purpose is to combine the orientation estimation from the redundant degree of freedoms so as to generate a more accurate estimation. Finally, we also find out the commercial RFID reader will perform random frequency hopping over 50 channels, and which is stipulated by the FCC regulations. And the random frequency hopping will break the phrase reading. And the right figure shows an experiment where we measure the phase of a stationary tag over 30 seconds. And we found the phase very significantly. And the key observation here is that different frequencies will induce different initial phase offsets. In order to deal with these issues, we have the frequency hopping calibration algorithm. And the key objective of this algorithm is to calibrate the phase so that it looks like output from a single frequency. How can we do that? And the key step of this algorithm is to cancel the initial phase offset and then calibrate the phase shift caused by different frequency. So we implement the Tegiro uh, using the commercial RFID readers, tags, and antennas. And we also implement the tracking and sensing algorithms in real time. And the right figure shows the user interface and we, we evaluate their performance in the lab environment. And we first test the accuracy over the number of degree of freedoms. And the average checking error is about four degree. And we found out the checking accuracy is independent of the degree of freedom because we use two array to check each of the degree of freedom independently. And the right figure shows the accuracy over the tactile reader distance. And for the reader and antenna we use, we can support up to 2.7 meter. And usually, the error of longer distance becomes larger. That's because the signals become weaker, so the phase is no longer reliable. But it's, it, it's bad that we can reach a longer distance if the antenna has a higher gain. And finally, we also test the accuracy over the size of the tag array. So in here, we form different tag array using two to eight tags. And the bottom right figure shows the example layout of them. And we found the larger size of the tag array will give better performance. But even with two tags, the average tracking error is about five degrees. So we also applied Tegura into two case studies. In the first case study, we tried to emulate the electronic dice, which can automatically find out its old orientations in the gaming scenario. And we randomly tossed the dice by 36 times and found out it can detect the accuracy in about 92%. And we also applied Tegura in a smart home environment, which we, where we attach four tags to a door and try to find out the opening state of the door. And we found that Tegiro can not only find out whether the door is open or closed, but also generate a fine grain record of the opening angle. So to conclude my work, so in this work, we propose Tegiro, which is a 3D orientation sensing uh, using commercial RFID based on the phase information. And in this work, we identify and address three key challenges that's caused by the blind directions, antenna polarity, and electromagnetic coupling. So these challenges are actually not quite unique to our system, but may be general to many RFID systems that rely on the phase information. And the result will inspire other RFID researchers to rethink their design in a practical environment. 
And finally, we also implement the Tegiro using the commercial RFID platform and demonstrate the capability of accurate orientation tracking. And we will have a simple demo in the demo session and welcome to take a look. And thank you for attention. I'm happy to take any questions.